we will create the following 3D model using a DAV5. As you can see, what we have right here is a square shape straight along this direction with a hole. This hole has this shape along this direction. As you can see, this part is going to be removed of the solution that I just mentioned. The rest is pretty easy to different or one, one um, elongated hole along this direction and this is what we have right here two or three different circles straight along this direction as well all right so as always the first thing that we have to take into account is the system units and the information within the engineering draw as always um the the engineering draws that I use for me to create these 3D elements doesn't, yeah, do not contain any information about the unit system. So I can assume that these are millimeters. So we're going to see right here tools, options, parameters and measures, units, and right here we have millimeters. So we can be sure that we are working in millimeters. Now we can either start by this view or this view because this is a section view this is a view that is created with respect of this line pointing towards this direction as you can see the direction of these two arrows so this view is created like you no know, i take this part divide it in half and if I see towards this direction, I'm going to see this. This is a section view AA. Now, I want to start by this view because right here I have the elongated hole. And I can not I can create or I can, yeah, I can get rid of it by suiting this part right so we're going to do that file sorry start mechanical design part design this is our tutorial 23 enter now we have access to the katiabi 5 power design environment it's sketch. i'm going to create an sketch i want it to be created with respect of this plane which is the front plane x uh, sorry y c plane now i'm going to create a square so look for it right here we have it the square and i'm going to create an elongated circle right here we have it i want this elongated circle to always be at the sat middle of the, the square so i'm going to create an axis line take into account the middle of this line right here and right here then I'm going to say that between this point and this point there is going to be a symmetry line which is going to be this one and now I can be sure that uh, this is going to be always at the exact middle as you can see right here now I'm gonna define all that I need for me to 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 get everything defined so this is not going to eliminate this because I want to create the same dimensions that we have right here. Right, so we have 20, 45, 25, and um the dimension. Yep, that would be all for the for the elongated hole. So here till here I'm gonna need that dimension and from the middle till here I'm gonna need that dimension all right so I'm gonna use the edit multi constraint tool this is 25 as you can see it is being shown in orange the damage that I, the dimension that I'm currently changing in cyan the dimensions that have changed and in green the dimension that I'm going to change right so uh, this is 45, 
this is 20 this is 75 as you can see right here and as you can see right here this is 80 yeah 80 80 or 70 this should be 70 right because I'm going to shoot this later. I just need this part. So this should be 70. Preview. Okay. Right. Everything is good. I'm getting out of the sketch. I'm going to shoot it by using the path definition tool. Um, this should be 160. So 160. Right. Now I'm going to create this hole, but I need it to be created like this. So I'm going to create, we're going, you're going to see why, why is that later? So plane, I want it to be created a plane with respect of this face within 20 millimeters, but reverse direction. Um, I say 20 millimeters because right here I have 20 millimeters. So I want the plane to be created with respect of this plane. All right. So, okay. Now I'm going to create a sketch right here. I'm going to need this, this, this and this line notice that i've selected all with the control key maintaining i'm going to call it with this tool project 3d elements i want them to be uh, created for construction purposes okay now i'm going to create the hole that i need as you can see it is this one so I'm going to need a shape that looks like the one we have right there. Um, this could be it. Yeah. Now I want this line to be at the exact middle as well as we did before. So we're going to do once more. what we have done before select part of them right click whole symmetry line this one and i'm going to define everything so from here to here i have 10 millimeters so right here i have 10 millimeters now from his from here till here i have 30 millimeters so from here till here i have 20 and finally i'm gonna need this dimension but as you can see right here this dotted line is representing the hole that we require that means that the diameter of this circle is going to be the dimensions that we need so 35 35 enter then enter and finally 30 enter everything looks good and defined so I'm getting out of the sketch and I'm going to create the bucket so the definition tool reverse direction now right here I have 160 right here I have 20 that means that right here I have as well I have as well 20 that means that this dimension is going to be equal to 160 minus 20 minus 20 minus 40 that means that this is equal to 120 enter and as you can see that is what we have right there all right what's left is to create this circles so i want to introduce you to a different tool that we're going to to see so i'm gonna just create this 
and later I can explain you the tool that we're going to use. So I'm going to select the sketch tool, I'm going to select the top face. When this happens that you don't know where you are actually, so you have to select this, fit all in, and it is it is shown the, the, the part that you're creating. I'm going to call these two lines because I need them. And I want to create a line between both of them at the exact middle. And with respect of this line, I'm going to create the two holes that I require. So, at the exact middle. This and this. And I'm going to select this because I want it to be shown. Now, this is 35 millimeters. Enter and this is 55. Double click 55. Enter. Right. And getting out right here, we have our sketch and I want to shoot it. So I'm going to use the path definition tool, select the sketch. And I'm going to say that this has 10 millimeters. So because of this, right? 10 millimeters, enter. There right we have it. I'm going to eliminate this. So I want to, I don't know if this is going to work. So bear with me. So I'm going to select the whole tool. I'm going to select the face. Um, then I'm going to look for the middle, but it is going to be difficult. Blind type. All right. This is, this is perfectly useful when you have a point created. We're going to do it. So select this and this creating the this sketch. Now I'm going to call this circle for construction purposes. Right there we have it. And I'm going to create one hole right here at the exact middle that has to be shown. I'm getting out. Right there we have it. Now I can create a hole with respect of that. So I'm going to select the face. And I want moved Till position sketch till this part. So all I have to do is to let me see if this is going to work. Yep, select both of them with the dimension constraint tool and say coincidence. All right. And this is going to have a diameter of 35 millimeters. Enter. Oh, sorry. Double click once again for us to find this depth. Um, well, this is should be like like this. Yep, that's enough preview. Okay. All right. We've used a tool that I was not meant to, to use because it is easier the maybe just calling the circle and using the bucket division tool. But uh, since this is for educational purposes, I think that you should know most of the tools that we have right here. Now we're going to use a new one. So I'm going to select the, the pad, uh, the sketch tool, sorry. Because I want to create once more a point. So I'm going to call this circle for construction purposes. Okay. I'm going to create one point right here. Yep, right here. But I must be sure that this is at the exact middle so let me see if I, I can create yep a line right here and this should be 
a coincidence with this coincidence okay yep now I'm getting out and I'm going to create a plane at that, that at that exact point so I'm gonna select the plane I'm gonna select either this one and select this point okay now I'm going to create a sketch right here I'm gonna call this line and this line uh, there is my cat hello excuse me excuse me madam yeah I'm so sorry for that I'm gonna call them okay I want them to be for construction purposes and all I have to do is to create a circle right there I want them for for be shown I want it I want it to be shown so right here and finally I'm going to create a quarter of the circle sorry right there we have it eliminate in this part of the circle all right so I'm gonna say then that these two are for construction purposes and then I'm going to create two more right here that has to be shown as you can see this is the part that is going to be uh, studied on quote marks why is that because what I have to do is to create a rip so rip tool I've selected the sketch sketch 7 and uh, the, the, the program in asking, is asking for me to tell it the center curve so all I have to do is to select this curve right as you can see the sketch is being extruded along the curve that I just created so preview okay this is our warnings swift or love pen operation phase has a small age these are our warnings these are not mistakes so you have to be aware of them but it is correctly defined right guys this this is all this would be all this is how you can create this 3d model using using katiabi 5 so right here we have it and you can hide those planes by just clicking up on them with control key and right click hide right right here we have our other view and this is all guys this is how you can create this 3d model